Hello, hello all. I hope you're doing very well and welcome to this K-pop podcast. In this episode, we're going to be discussing Ginny's exit from NMIX, the JYP girl group and their scandal, as well as Jin's military enlistment and BTS's future, as well as their solos, Jungkook, Jimin and Big Bang's Taeyang. So let's get on with the podcast. First up, we're talking about the abrupt exit of Ginny from NMIX. NMIX is a semi-recently debuted girl group from JYP. JYP stated on their social media page, quote, Hello, this is JYP Entertainment. Ginny, who has promoted as a member of NMIX up until today, will be leaving the team and terminating her contract with JYP Entertainment due to personal reasons. We apologise for causing many fans concern with the sudden news. As a result, we would like to notify you that all NMIX schedules from today will proceed with six members. We ask that you support Ginny on her new path and that you also send your warm encouragements to the six members of NMIX who will continue to walk towards their dreams, growing each day. Once again, we apologise to fans who have supported NMIX. Thank you. So, this was a shock to everyone as clearly Ginny's been removed from the group. What adds to this is the fact that she wrote on her bubble a day or two before this announcement, or at least very close to this announcement, that she was excited for what was to come with the group. It didn't seem and didn't sound like she would leave on her own accord, especially when NMIX just came out with a hit, Dice. This is the beginning of NMIX's uphill climb to popularity. Ginny wouldn't leave this pivotal moment. It's a moment she spent years working for. So to suddenly leave, it must be because she was forced to leave. It reminds me of the scandal that happened with One Us's Raven, i.e. his dating scandal and cheating scandal and asking fans for expensive gifts. It's not the scandal that's similar, but the agency also made it out like he departed the group and it was his choice. What seems more likely in these cases is that this is done to save face and to try and salvage the company's image too, as it sounds worse in the headlines if you've been kicked out of the group. So I think the same thing has happened here with Ginny. JYP released an official photo with all six members, so they're definitely moving on without her. And what usually happens when a member departs, I remember this very clearly with EXO at least, if a member goes, you can expect quite quickly a comeback, a new comeback with the group, excluding that member, just to try and get over that member quicker. I remember when Wonjin left Stray Kids, they came out quite quickly with Astronaut, And that's a JYP group, that's why I'm mentioning them. So I think you can expect an NMIX comeback quite quickly. I don't know if the song will be very good because it could just be rushed to try and have a new song without Ginny included, officially included, but I could imagine that happening. But it must be bizarre having to wake up one day and not mention a member at all, as if they're a ghost. I mean, I know that situation as a wavy stan. The wavy members just had to wake up one day and just not mention that they have the huge gaping hole that is a missing member. I think people are confused about why Ginny was kicked out. Ultimately, I'll say we won't ever know the 100% truth unless JYP confirms it, which of course they never will, because ultimately it's her personal business. So her departure will always be shrouded in mystery. An explanation that has gained the most traction stems from a YouTuber called Sojang. They claim, through being tipped by an unknown messenger, that Ginny was caught visiting motels with her male idol boyfriend, and that because she wasn't too famous, and hopefully wouldn't be recognised, she went to these motels with him even with her pink hair. Pictures weren't taken of her as evidence, as apparently it was too dark to take photos. Which I can believe because motels and the areas around them aren't lit up that brightly for this exact reason, to keep people hidden. And the issue isn't that Ginny was dating or had a boyfriend, but the issue is this. She was underage as she was dating him even pre-debut. And her boyfriend, who is rumoured to be Unite Steve, is of age. He's currently 21. 
And if this is true, Ginny being underage at the time, or during that time, it would have been illegal for her to visit motels without her parents' consent, and Steve would face legal punishment. Let's say if this situation was true and became full public verified knowledge, it makes sense why JYP would want to cut Ginny off before this news could become official and break out into the public. So her scandal wouldn't ruin Enmix's reputation, as it's a budding reputation Enmix have, i.e. they're still an early group. So a scandal, or any scandal, is a very big deal for a group that's not that established just yet, and it could haunt them for the rest of their career as a group. JYP were probably worried about their reputation and the reputation of any other groups in the company due to proximity, because don't forget, Stray Kids, for instance, is becoming huge, so if the company can avoid any associative scandal, then they will. The rumour, of course, has spiralled where people are saying Ginny is pregnant and was seen on a train going back to her family on the same day Enmix were called in for a meeting prior to JYP's official statement. Once again, we don't know if this is true, but the reason why these suspicions stuck is because apparently it's been corroborated by Sarsangs from both Enmix and Unite's fandoms, who were saying the same thing and supposedly knew this information. And judging from Sarsang's information in the past, they are dodgy as heck, and I don't condemn Sarsang's at all, but unfortunately they do have massive insider knowledge because they follow idols around non-stop. For example, Exo Sarsangs all knew about Chen and his girlfriend prior to even getting married. They posted those pictures of NCT's Jungwoo smoking, if you remember, the pictures of V smoking, and even leaked a clip of the audio of Run BTS before the song was even released. Fans were angry that Ginny got removed just for dating, while other idols have been pardoned for bullying. But I don't think it's about the dating aspect. It's about becoming known that she was going in and out of motels as a minor, in South Korea, where that's against the law, unless she received her parents' consent, and her boyfriend potentially going to jail for their relationship. And that is a big issue, and a huge legal PR headache for JYP so they nipped it in the bud while they still could. Do I believe this explanation entirely? No. Unless it's officially or legally confirmed, you have to take everything with a pinch of salt. However, I can absolutely believe that she was removed from the group for a serious reason, and a reason that would not only ruin her reputation, but the group's too. Enmix are quite a newly debuted group, and so there was still time to remove Ginny before they got too big. It reminds me of Karam's scandal with Le Seraphim. Hybe removed her early on in the group's debut, and even Wonjin was removed from Stray Kids before they got too big, and it would be too difficult to remove him. Even recently, Trainee A's Leo was removed from the group, supposedly due to anxiety, but it could just be a cover-up story. Of course, once again, take it with a pinch of salt, these rumours, but fans have speculated that Hybe actually removed him to avoid his writing of misogynistic lyrics scandal coming back and biting them in the butt after the group's debut. Now on to the next story. BTS. It's begun. An end of an era with Jin enlisting in the military. He revealed his shaved head on social media and, of course, was met with both praise and sadness. BTS enlistment does seem like the member's choice after the government faffed around so much in terms of excluding them from military service or not. It seems that the Korean public was very 50-50 on making them go and letting them not go due to their huge service done for the country. HYBE is preparing itself, and South Korea is, for the billions of won that will be lost due to BTS's enlistment. But for the government, I mean, I don't know what they expected. That's what you get if you keep umming and eyeing about this huge issue. As I've said before, I do wonder if this will be Stray Kids' golden moment to slide in there and take that market share while BTS are away. Only time will tell if that happens but I do think that that moment will have to occur once Jungkook leaves, as I assume Jungkook will be the last member to enlist. But let's see. Jin is the first one up. Do you think RM will be next? He might announce his enlistment in a month or two. 
I'm wondering if J-Hope will go with RM or if he will go with Sugar. But Sugar will be releasing a solo album, I'm guessing, after RM. J-Hope has already released his solo album, so he can go kind of with anyone. They could go in pairs. So we'll just have to wait and see about that. Although the BTS members have chosen to go to the military, and it seems like they're taking back some autonomy with their choice, I heard that apparently the government can still make money out of you as an idol, and that the military are planning to. As you know, idols can sometimes join bands or perform while on active service. However, they don't earn money while on active military duty, so the military is the one that can make money off of the members if they perform as an act of public service. We'll know if this is true if all of a sudden you see a lot of footage and photos of Jin performing while on active duty. And that kind of sucks because it'll be a case of they tried to make an autonomous decision and take back some control, and yet they're still being used and squeezed for every nickel and dime they're worth. Of course, HYBE tries to make as much money out of the BTS brand name, but the government has done the same thing and now the military will be able to. And when I say the government, I mean, don't forget that the free Busan concert that BTS held, where they performed Run BTS, which was amazing, that was a free concert and was helping the Korean government, the country, in their bid to host the next World Expo in Busan. So BTS were helping their country. Once again, a huge act of service to their country doing that. And yet, yeah, people still complain that they're not doing enough I'm not a Korean national, so I know it's a bit tricky giving your two cents in on whether South Koreans should serve in the military. I guess it depends if you think serving in the military is equally as important as serving your country in different ways such as tourism, etc. But let me know your thoughts on that. Furthermore, HYBE have taken it very seriously and so have the government in terms of Jin's enlistment and I'm sure this will be the same thing for the other BTS members. To try and prevent fans and in particular Sasang fans from getting to Jin or taking pictures of him, they're keeping the centre he'll be at very private. Only the recruits and their families will be able to attend on the day of enlistment at the centre. 270 riot police will be added to the centre and officers who can speak multiple languages and a 60 task force task force will be enlisted to protect Jin and his privacy. Emergency health services will also be on site as well. I can understand fans of other groups being quite angry because why aren't other idols receiving that kind of care and safety? Like, where was Taman's protection when people were trying to sneak a photograph of him in the shower? But I don't think this security is to protect Jin from his fellow officers. I think it's to stop intense fans from trying to get to him. Although, of course, fans did take pictures of Taemin during the day of his enlistment, which was supposed to be a private event, and he was still being filmed. Thankfully, no fans actually touched him or got too near him, but I can understand that Jin's treatment does feel like biased treatment on the government's behalf over other idols. Of course, I understand BTS are BTS, so it can be seen as a different story. It'll be a miracle if anyone actually manages to sneak a picture of Jin. But yes, let me know your thoughts on that. And speaking of BTS, Jungkook's Dreamers is the fastest song by a K-pop act to surpass 500,000 and 1 million videos on TikTok. Do not think that HYBE aren't absorbing all these analytics and statistics and calculating how they're going to approach and handle Jungkook's solo album. If there are any big international names featuring on an album, it'll be Jungkook's. HYBE now have the power to get Justin Bieber since they're signed with the same agency and Justin Bieber has like over 200 million followers on Instagram. So to feature on a Jungkook song is possible and would be such an incredible feat. And I think also the whole K-pop industry in terms of all the idols who are totally in love with Justin Bieber, like (laughs) NCT's Mark is a great example. They'll all just be screaming, crying, throwing up if that happens. I've even seen Jungkook at my gym here in the UK in terms of on the TV screen because his collaboration with Charlie Puth, their song Left and Right, was there up on my gym screen. And that's the only BTS solo that I've seen in the UK. I've seen BTS music videos played at my gym, but not any of the solos except Jungkook and Charlie Puth. 
so don't think that Hybe aren't considering things like this for when he debuts with his solo album. And speaking of comebacks and collaborations, Big Bang's Taeyang is allegedly going to release an album next year. YG has neither confirmed nor denied this, however it's now rumoured that Jimin will feature on a song for Taeyang's album, which would be such a dream come true for someone like Jimin, who loves Big Bang, as all of BTS do, and he's been very influenced by Taeyang, especially in his early career. If you see any of early BTS content, they really model themselves after Big Bang and Big Bang's performance style and motifs, because they were their heroes, they are their their heroes. And even specific lyrics, I mean, J-Hope's famous Hakuna Matata line from Boy in Love, which I love, is a direct quote from T.O.P. himself. It's great. I love how much they love Big Bang. So imagine how amazing and full circle it is for someone like Jimin, who idolised Taeyang, to feature on a song with him. Both have similar voices and music styles, so if this rumour is true, then there's no doubt the song will be amazing. And Taeyang's album will be great too. I bet GD produces a few songs, if not features in one. And that's it for this podcast episode. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below with your thoughts and theories in regards to what's been discussed. And subscribe to the channel for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!